Hello, my wonderful Coldplay friends out there. We have something really cool to discuss today, and I'm kind of surprised I haven't mentioned it yet. It is not necessarily tour-related, but kind of connected in a way. Today, we are going to discuss the new Coldplay song, A Wave. Now, I know what you're thinking, maybe you haven't heard of this before, and that's because it hasn't really been released yet, but we're gonna dive into this today. But before we get started, I wanted to say, of course, if you enjoy this content, definitely subscribe. I do this kind of stuff all the time, talking about Coldplay and all this. And of course, if you're interested in discussing more of this after these videos, uh, definitely join the Discord, which I have a link in the description below. So definitely get involved that way. And I also wanted to give a huge shout out to two people First of all, James Rigby for mentioning this in the comments below, uh, mentioning a wave and just talking about it a little bit, because that kind of inspired me to want to do this video. And then also to Blake, uh, who is on the Discord, for just talking about it a little bit there, and also creating a video of kind of an instrumental version of a wave. So thank you to you two. I greatly appreciate you. Now, let's dive into all this discussion about this new Coldplay song. So first of all, if you're wondering about like what it is, this has not been released anywhere other than Music of the Spheres tour. So it serves as kind of like a, a goodbye song, like the swan song, you know, when they're doing their bows, uh, they have this running in the background. Now the tone of it is super, super slow and kind of like a ballad, I guess, and it's very bittersweet. For some reason, it reminds me of All I Can Think About Is You. It has that similar vibe. But we know this is a Coldplay song, really, because we hear Chris singing in it. And this isn't being performed as much as it is just having it on in the background as they're giving their bows. So just a little bit more about the lyrics for this song. It starts off with this ominous noise, and then you hear background vocals sing, a wave three times. So it goes a wave, a wave, a wave. And then you hear Chris say, speaking a language without a name, a wave. One day we will see each other again, each other again. And then it repeats a wave, speaking a language without a name, a wave. One day we will see each other again, each other again, a wave. So what are these lyrics? What do they mean? So a wave could be several different things. It could be, you know, water. It could be a period of time. It could be a file, a wave file. But more than likely, it has to do with uh, just waving goodbye. So the lyrics that say, speaking a language without a name, that can refer to like a gesture, right? Uh, a wave is not a language, it's not you know something that you say, but it, it demonstrates something, it demonstrates saying goodbye, right? But then also there's that line that says, one day we will see each other again, which kind of implies that you're saying goodbye, right? So it seems uh, pretty fitting that this, this has to do with waving goodbye, saying goodbye to someone. So, and it's, it's kind of interesting because it's, it's fitting for the end of the set because they're literally saying goodbye. Now, I want to turn over to what this this means. You know, what will this be in the future? Is this just something they perform live or will this be something more, something we'll see on a future album? And there are a lot of rumors going around that this this could possibly be something that we see in the next album or released as a single. Um, and I think that's pretty realistic. And the reason for that is because of certain things like the lyrics, where it says, speaking a language without a name. Um, Music of the Spheres is really about how we're all very different, but all the same, you know? With lines like, everyone is an alien somewhere, or we are made of each other. Um, I think it's very strong statement that they make in this album, and we, we see that with with this song because speaking a language without a name, you know, what could what could that mean other than a gesture of a wave? It could mean emotion or shared emotion. Uh, for example, like listening to music, really. Uh, that's, that's definitely a shared experience where we all emote. You hear a happy song, you all feel happy. Or even just certain circumstances that we go through, you know, like going through a pandemic, you know, feels very uh, stressful or, you know, very sad, somber. Um, so I think that it's realistic to think that this song is not just something performed uh, at, a, at a performance at a show, but it's something that could be seen on a future album related to Music of the Spheres. So with this though, 
There are also some rumors going around that this could be related to Aurora. Now, if you've never heard of Aurora before, it is the missing planet. Now I have something right here. These are the cards that were in the box set uh, for Music of the Spheres. And as you can see, well, I'm just going to show you that there are 12 planets, of course, related to the 12 songs on the album, but there's actually a 13th card here, a 13th planet. And if you can see there, it says Aurora. So this is the missing planet and the missing song. And of course it has the decode section on the back there, but this has no relation to any song as of right now. So a lot of people are thinking that maybe this song is related to Aurora and that's what the missing planet is, the missing song. So a little bit more about this, um, at the bottom of this card, you can see right here, maybe you can't, I don't know, <laughs> but it has a language there. And if you decode it using the back of the card, um, I thought at first, just at glance, that it did say a wave, but it doesn't. It says A-U-R-O-W-1. So I don't know if that's like a arrow or a row one. I don't know, but can this still be related to that planet? I think so. I think it's super realistic based upon everything we've seen. The only real new song is a wave that they've, you know, performed. So I think it's super realistic to expect that this this song might have something to do with Aurora. And there aren't really other options other than of course a race, but I don't think they're going to release that yet. I think that might be in the next album. So I think that we can uh, draw some conclusions here that it could be. And usually I'm super pessimistic about this stuff that, you know, that they'll have a new song, that it would be related to something, you know, that we've seen before. But personally, I think it's it's pretty realistic to, to think that they might be relating this song to that planet. And just to go even further, they've done this before, right? You know, with um, Life is Beautiful, they performed live and of course released that in Infinity Sign. That it wasn't the same exact song, but they've used what they've performed live or played live in their, their sets. So yeah, I don't know. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this because this was kind of brought to my attention and I just have been really excited about it, especially with the whole thing with Aurora. I think that would be super cool if this is actually related to that, but let me know what you think in the comments below, letting me know if you think this is related to Aurora, if you think this will be on the next album, if this will be a new single that they might release. And if you are interested in having a further conversation, of course, join the Discord, which is a link in the description below. I'd greatly appreciate hearing your opinions there. So that is everything I had to mention today. I know there's gonna be lots more news regarding tour and set lists and probably even this song. Hopefully we'll hear more about that soon. But until then, definitely subscribe, leave a comment, like, join the Discord. I'll see you in the next video next week. Till then, peace.